What's going on people? It's Ricardo Francis, aka Ricardo Lifting here. Today we're going to be going through an upper body workout. Um, you're going to need minimal equipment. All you're going to need is a hand towel, a large towel, and a backpack. And you want to fill that backpack with stuff. I've got filled, filled with water, etc. Um, using my old carnival backpack. But yeah, fill it up with as much as you can, whether it be books, cans, etc. Just to add some load and resistance to the workout. If you've got weights, even better. So this workout is a strength-based workout. It's all about muscle stimulation. So when it comes to bodybuilding, it's all about stimulating those muscles. It doesn't matter how heavy, it's all about just getting the most out of it. So it's really going to be focused on time under tension and muscle mind-muscle connection. So you're really focusing on contracting those muscles as hard as you can throughout the workout. And that's why the rep ranges are going to be quite low, considering their body, some of them are body weight movements. Because you are putting them under tension and the load for quite a long time, those rep ranges are enough to stimulate and fatigue those muscles. Without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, we've got to kick things off with an awesome warm-up. So we're going to start with walkouts for 10 reps. This has got to be my staple warm-up exercise, you know, because it fully engages the body from the lower body, core, and upper body. Just make sure you control the motion, keep that core nice and tight, lie down on the ground to get full stretch in the chest and shoulders. Through this work workout, you're going to notice that a lot of the exercises we do for like five sets, so it's a lot of volume, but not too many exercises. So it's making sure you get the most out of it. And it's really about controlling the motion and contracting those muscles as best you can to get the most out of this workout. All right, so next we go into scapular retractions for 10 reps. This is really about getting that scapula to engage. That's about pulling your shoulders back and down, squeezing the middle of your back, and then pushing away from the floor to really engage um, those traps. So it's really about identifying your lats from your traps and your shoulders. Um, so it's a great warm up, especially if you're gonna do any form of back movement. So I suggest you do some variation of this exercise, whether on the floor or on the wall, just to get nice and warm and prepped for any back exercises and then we go into chest to traps for 10 reps so it's simulating that scapular retraction at the beginning but squeezing the chest when you fully extend your arms and then push your shoulders forward to get a stretch through the traps again great upper body um, warm-up especially for any pressing movements All right, so next we go into T-spine extension. This one's really focusing on the posterior chain. Um, so it's about pressing against the wall and pushing your bum back as you sink your shoulders down into your arms. So this is really good for the posterior chain. So that's your lats, your rhomboids, and your rear delts. And also getting a little bit of stretch in the hamstring. And on to the last warm-up exercise, floor angels. This one's a great one for any shoulder movements that you're about to do, any shoulder pressing movements. So what you want to do is keep your feet nice and close to your bum and actually have your back nice and flat on the floor. You don't want an arch in your back, you want it to be nice and flat while you push your arms up past your ears and back down. You want to try and guide your forearms as close to the ground as you can to really focus on keeping that core tight and pressing all the way up. Then we go straight into the workout. So the first superset um, exercise, you gotta start with tempo press-ups. This one's really about controlling your body weight on the way down. So notice the tempo that I, I use. In this exercise, I'm using a backpack, but obviously if you find that a bit difficult, um, don't need to use a backpack and you can do this variation on your knees. It's just about keeping your core nice and tight and guiding your chest between your hands and really contracting your chest as hard as possible at the top of the movement to get the most out of it. You're only doing 12 reps, but if you really control and contract, trust me, 12 reps is enough. 
So the next exercise in that same superset is lying towel roll. So with this variation, I've got my feet off the floor, but you can have your feet on the floor. It's really about keeping your shoulders off the floor, have that towel straight up over your head and pulling it towards your chest while you drive your elbows back and squeeze and contract your lats as much as possible. Again, it's all about controlling that motion and contracting those muscles as hard as you can to get the most out of the workout. So moving on to the next superset, is incline narrow grip press-ups. So it's a press-up variation. You don't have to do it with your feet so high. If you can't do this at all, start on the floor on your knees. It's about guiding your chest between your hands with your hands very narrow, very close within shoulder width um, and then pressing from the chest. Make sure you keep that core tight and a nice stable body. And then we move on to single arm tempo bend over ropes. So I'm using my backpack here. Again, if you've got weights, it's even better. It's really about controlling that tempo and guiding the arm down and driving the elbow in to your side, squeezing your lats as much as possible, but keeping your body rigid. You don't want to turn through the movement. You literally just want to stay nice and straight, square on and contract those lats. So next we go on to shoulders. So we're gonna do a tricep. So this is bend over isometric Y hold. You're holding it for as long as possible. So you're gonna have the towel wrapped around your legs. Make sure it's the big towel and you're gonna create a Y. So really contracting your rear and lateral head of the shoulder. So the next exercise in the tricep is pike press ups. You're doing as many reps as possible with your feet elevated. If you can't do your feet elevated, you can do your feet on the floor. But the main thing is to try and stack your hands, your shoulders and your hips as best as you can. And then we go on to upright face pulls. So I'm slightly bended at the waist and I'm trying to pull the straps of the bag just past my head, really contracting the rear delts and traps. And then we go into a tricep finisher. So first we're starting with explosive press-ups. This is really about just trying to get your hands off the floor. So any variation that you can do, whether you're on your knees or on your toes, um, just do as many reps as you can and squeeze your chest as much as possible until failure. And then we go into back extension. Again, you can have your feet off the ground or on the ground. Keep your hands in line with your head and just raise your, your shoulders off the floor. Do as many reps as you possibly can, contracting your lats as much as you can. And then finally, front raise isometric hold. So you wanna keep your core tight, squeeze your glutes and just hold that bag out in front of you for as long as you possibly can. Really gonna burn and finish off the upper body. And that concludes the workout, ladies and gentlemen. It was a tough one. Um, if you tried this one, it is a tough one, sweating. It took me about an hour and a half, so it should take you about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, depending. Obviously, I had to record, etc. And you'll burn anywhere from 600 to 900 calories, like I burn 900 calories. But obviously, if you do different regressions, etc., um, you'll probably burn a little bit less. I'll put the workout in the description below. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share it with all your friends. Anyway, that's me. I'm out. Peace.